Today is Thursday, September 1st, 11.19 p.m. I'm at 999,921,000 subscribers. Literally, what is my life? What is my life? If I was like a famous YouTuber and that was my job, I would be more than happy. As long as I'm filming videos that I like and that I am proud of posting, then whatever number I get to, I am happy with that number. just because I just I want to do something when it hits 1 mil and I think it's gonna happen really soon this is so exciting okay I'm currently at 999,000 921,000 subscribers like I we're, we're almost there I've got my camera here so you guys are actually on my vlog right now very exciting very exciting I'm like what song do I play right now I can't play the happy birthday song I feel like I need like a okay wait wait I'm like stressed like what do I do my close friends will know this it's a good song I'm like trying to make a cake, I'm trying to play a song, I'm trying to like refresh this. the funniest live I think I've ever done in my life. That was so fun. I feel, I don't even know how to feel. I feel, okay. Words cannot describe. Words cannot describe. Language of averted eyes. It's Brenny Day. We hit one million last night and today is gonna be the celebration day, the celebration day. It's just gonna be epic. I'm so excited. It's currently like 10 a.m. I think Rosina's coming over at like 11.30. We're gonna do a photo shoot together, but I look like this right now. So obviously there's a few things we gotta do. We're gonna do all the things that I do on a day where I'm gonna be trying to look my best. My DMs are literally flooded with nice messages. I don't even know how to act right now. Like, it's crazy, it's crazy. I'm getting my hair done, Rosina's here. You're my hairdresser era. Yeah, in my emo era. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay, I'm basically finished getting ready. It's actually 12.55 and we had a studio appointment for 12.45, so we're like super late. So excited. Today is gonna be filled with so many celebrations. I'm so excited, I'm so happy. We're gonna have the best time. Yay. This day is gonna go down history. It's gonna be so exciting. I'm so <laughs> happy. How are you excited just going back there? I'm gonna be like watching how you're doing it. Thank you. Rosina's got the balloons. Yay! Jacob's got the cake. You know what? I love you guys. <laughs> Squad! Look at that cake. I'm so excited. These photos better turn out. They're gonna turn out. I'm so excited. <laughs> that would be really tragic. <laughs> I actually can't hold this many things. Wait. So basically, we're going upstairs right now. We just rented a room for Fernanda's one million photo shoot. I am, oh my gosh, I'm yelling. I'm so excited. We've actually been talking about this for quite some time, you know. Gearing towards one million mark, we definitely um, had a prediction of when she might hit it. So this is, Did in fact know. think it was two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> so we have in fact been plotting this um, for the past yeah, month. Yeah, we are an hour late. Yeah. Basically this summer and unfortunately we are actually late now. So I don't know how that happens. Always like an hour late. We have the heels, we have the balloons. Yeah. We have everything we need. I have the two water bottles. Okay, I think it's right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I brought my Polaroid, so I think some Polaroids could look really cute. This is so cool. 
Okay, so we just got to the studio. I'm so excited. So you walk in the store, you come on in here. I'm also wearing ginormous shoes right now. <laughs> it's giving Polly Pockets. You come on this way, and we got this big white board. I'm so glad that it's this big because when I did a photo shoot here for my jewelry brand, or not jewelry, jewelry collab, that one's coming too. Jewelry collab, it was like half the size, and I had to like shorten my legs so that my body would like still be in the frame. But now, On. We also have a mirror. Not really serving with the bandaid on my leg. Um, did okay. have a shaving accident and yeah. I'm bleeding like profusely, so I can't take it off. Yeah, this is what she's looking like. Look at the cake. Cake reveal. Oh. Ah, it's stunning. It's so cute. Oh, okay. the creds is crazy. This is creds to Tricato. They helped me get this cake. I, I'm so excited. I sent them what photos I wanted and they, they executed it very well. I'm so excited. She's adorable. What'd you pay? Eat the one. The one. You're like, million. <laughs> This is so beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's almost like way too beautiful. I'm scared. Oh my gosh, I love the pearls, the little pearl detailing. It's so the one cute. million. Maybe, maybe yeah. you grab one of these things and put it on top of the pearls. Ah, it's not even that yeah. We're gonna play some music. Aww. Yay. That's so cute. I look so sad. <laughs> well, we also have the one million balloons stuff. Okay, I really think it's coming together. Okay, put the balloons down. It's actually perfect. Yay. Oh, okay, so epic. I'm so excited. We're gonna do a photo shoot. Jello shots over here. They've got me flowers, so adorable. The cake, it looks demolished. Woo! I just, okay. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? So proud of my Fernie baby girl. One mil, one motherfucking mil. <laughs> Sunrise. It has, oh my god, it's spilling it everywhere. <laughs> Put this in first. This is the later ingredient. Hey guys, I'm the face behind the camera always. I'm Fern's slaughter. Her, her real minion. Her real minion. Okay, her real minion. My name's Cameron, my dress is from Maritzia. <laughs> <laughs> she's putting the grenadine. So, and yeah. she's doing this cool technique. Bartender. Slay. So beautiful. Put your sleeves on. Full reveal. Full reveal. Welcome to the Shaylee and Rosina show. We're making espresso martinis. And we actually don't know how to make espresso martinis, so we're gonna wing it. We're starting off with cold brew. We don't have a cocktail mixer, so we're gonna be using Shaylee's Starbucks mug. Two shots of this. <laughs> two shots of this. Okay, and then actually two shots of this. Oh no, I think it's a lot of shots. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. I would put like maybe like six because. All right, all right. <laughs> That was a lot. I feel like this gives it like the espresso martini taste. Mm -hmm. Did not do any measurements, but <laughs> I think it should be good. Yeah, hopefully. Next we'll up. drink it anyways. We're gonna mix it yeah, up. Shake, 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 shake. I don't know if there's gonna be foam. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know for that. Next yeah. Time. Okay. Oh, she is foamy. Okay, <laughs> we'll clean it up after. <laughs> I think it's gonna like this, right? 
Melted Slurpee. I'm a big fan. Okay. Big fan. You look so sexy! Woo! This is a national holiday. It's called Burns One Mill. Burns One Mill. It's a national, it's a worldwide holiday. We're gonna be yeah. celebrating on September 3rd every single year. Yeah. Because this is the biggest deal. To too. commemorate. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully next year too, Mill. It will be. Put that shit in the air. Made some jello shots. Ooh! I don't know how to Dear Lord, do the pinky thing. Oh wow, not good. <laughs> I'm okay. okay. Hey, this is the final look. We are ready to go celebrate one now. We are gonna go to West Oak. I can't bring this camera because I literally will lose it. It's ginormous. So I'm gonna so vlog. Lose it. No, I will lose it. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my phone and I have my Canon G7X. But this is the fit. I'm so excited. It turned out so you. good. Ooh, ooh, shimmy, shimmy. My feet, literally, something is wrong with them. I actually, like, I, what I keep saying, I think I have nerve damage. Like, I'm not kidding. It's the middle of my foot. I think it's bruised from last week. Give us a so, bruise tour. I'm just kidding. Please. I don't. have so many. Jellyfish tours. tour, bruise tour, cut tour. He does things, though. You know what I mean? Okay, let's do it. Ready? You look awesome. Oh my god, that is cute. This is actually cute. What'd you get? Honestly, kind of tastes like steak, but it's not huge enough. I got some cauliflower bites, so good. She got some calamari. So we're about to do cake. We're gonna sing Happy One Million to her. Happy One Million to Day. I still have my makeup on from last night. My friends just left. 
I have been crying for the past like hour because I've been surrounded by people for the past like two days since I hit one mil and I don't think I've been able to process what this means until now. I look so bad so I'm like covering my face. I just feel like I needed to document this for a second because I'm just trying to like think to myself like okay I want to do a talking section, I want to write a little paragraph and there's just not an amount of words to describe how happy I feel, how grateful I feel. It's not even about the followers that come with it regardless of the money that comes with it but it's like I just feel like there's nothing else that I would rather be doing but this hitting 1 million is just like it's like a verification that I'm on the right path I can make a paragraph and I'm like no 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 erase it write more because they're not gonna understand how grateful you are and then I'll write something else and I'm like no 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 this does this doesn't show how happy you are there's nothing I can do that describes how I feel how happy I feel how grateful I feel how thankful I don't know how to explain it how right it just feels Okay, real talk, 1 million subscribers. I really wanted to do a proper end off, a proper thank you, a proper conclusion to this video. I know to many people doing YouTube may not seem that deep or you know, you're just posting videos, but for me, I just hold this little thing that we, me and you, have created together. This little community we have going on in here, it's just so sacred to me. I feel like ever since I was younger, it was something that I said like, oh, one day when I'm a YouTuber, one day when that happens. And it's like, now looking back, I'm just so proud of myself that it has happened. Not even the idea of hitting 1 million because when I first started hitting 1 million, I mean, obviously it's a dream for everybody, but it was not like my end goal. It was just to create content and then wherever it goes, that's what happens. Growing up, YouTube was something that I had wanted to do like forever. I would sit when I was like 10 years old and watch YouTubers make like videos on DIYs, grade six makeup tutorial. I would watch all the videos and I never had a YouTube account and I would just write down all the YouTubers that I loved on a cue card and I would circle through them every single week because I was so excited for my favorite YouTuber to post a new video. I feel like when I was younger, I used to be kind of crazy, kind of, I don't even know. I used to just be I'm Fernanda and I'm Daniela and we are DNA. Hi everybody, it's me and Daniela here. Hello. Hey guys, so. This is part two. I'm at the gym. Hi. Say hi, so these are the two that I met in San Jose. Fernanda. Yes. Hey guys. Hey guys. I'm Fernanda. And today we're gonna be doing a wine makeover. Uh, this, which is a, a 24 color, color tattoo. tattoo. I wanted to so bad. It was something that I would try to do, but it never turned out the way I had it in my head. I would bring this camera like my whole senior year and I, and I would tell my friends in class like, oh, if only I was a YouTuber. One day, if I was a YouTuber, I know I'd be good at it. Cause you know, I mean, I kind of make a pretty living. good YouTuber. I can't go to university, so I need YouTube. Um, for some reason, I feel like for me saying it so many times from years past, all of this felt like it's leading up to this now. I don't know if that makes sense. I am so thankful to you guys because that is what fuels me. I love reading your guys' comments. I'm so grateful that I can inspire other people. And I feel like the whole idea of my channel is me on my mission, my personal mission to being the best version that I can be and along the way inspiring other people to be their best version of themselves in a non-judgmental way. I'm just so excited that I have my whole adolescence or like the past like three years on video for me to watch back, for you guys to grow with me. It just feels so wholesome. It feels so good. I feel like I've really found myself through this process of having a YouTube channel. My confidence has grown so much. I have grown so much as an individual. So many experiences that I would have never thought I would have been able to have. I've had thanks to you guys. I want to again end End this off with kind of motivating you guys that if there is something deep down that you know you're good at that you know if you tried it and you gave it your all you would be successful at it you have some sort of like you know those people that say like oh I don't know what it is but something inside me feels like I'm gonna be rich something inside me feels like I'm gonna be famous something inside me feels like I need to motivate other people trust that gut feeling because it will come so naturally to you and everything is gonna fall into place even if other people around you don't believe 
believe in you. If you believe in yourself, you can make it happen. I think that I'm living proof of that. A goal that I had, a dream that I had, it was, it was in the back of my head and I made it happen. And I don't want to not acknowledge the fact that I do have some privilege. I'm aware of that, but it also comes down to consistency, hard work, believing in yourself. I cannot wait to see where this journey is gonna take me. The options are endless, the world is your oyster, and you can create your dream life through the habits that you do every single day, through the minds that you have every single day. I will always be an advocate for that. I'm just feeling hashtag blessed. <laughs> in the cheesiest way. I feel like I could cry. I feel so like shivery, like high vibrational. I just get really, I get really in my feels when I start talking about this because it just feels so, feels like my destiny. <laughs> Uh, I can already tell there's maybe someone watching this from the other side being like, okay, girl, your destiny, okay. But those, that's the haters because I can feel it and I know it myself. And if you're watching this and you feel like you have a destiny, a life mission that you need to accomplish, believe in yourself, believe in it, even if no one does. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna swear there. Thank you a million. I'll meet and greet booth right by. Just yeah, meet I'll, I'll come, I'll come. If you wanna come, come. Yeah, with her 40. Kidding. 40 subscribers. 49. 49. Ooh, I can actually fill it in. I hit 9,000 right now as I'm filming it, like colored in red whenever I hit 500 more subscribers when I write the date. We're almost at 50K, so this is a little far-fetched, but my goal, hopefully hit 100K before the end of the year. Sounds like a lot, but dream big, people. It can happen. At least I hope so. I, I want to make it happen. I feel like if I have intentions of it happening and, you know, manifest a little bit, it might happen. I want that play button. Like, imagine how nice, like, up there. Mm, let's envision it right now. Yeah, that's gonna happen. I can't believe I'm holding. I feel like everything, like I did not think that I was gonna get like 150,000 basically by the end of the year. Say 300K. I don't know if I can do that. Maybe I can, maybe I can. We've hit 500K. 500k I cannot believe that this is my real life I cannot believe that my life is playing out the way it is I feel like this is a dream that I hopefully don't wake up from a really big goal that I have for myself this year is that I want to hit a million subscribers I I don't know if I can do it but I'm going to aim for a big number we might as well shoot for the stars right 